Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about a real interesting, and I would call even cool, property of triangles. And here is a triangle, or what appears to be a triangle. But I'm saying that this is not possible. So in other words, this triangle here with these lengths, okay, is not possible. So that's a little bit of a hint. And why is that? Okay, so there's a very direct reason why you cannot construct a triangle with these particular lengths. Now, if you know what that reason is, go ahead and justify uh, your conclusions or tell me the reasons or maybe come at this a different way. But put that into the comment sections. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the exact reason why this uh, a triangle of these lengths is not possible in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, just so we understand uh, what I'm trying to say here, right? Understand uh, the point is that I'm saying that a triangle, okay, of lengths six, three, and 10 is not possible to construct, right? So you know, basically that's what I'm saying. Uh, a triangle, if you had a triangle and you had these lengths, well, that's not a real triangle, okay? You cannot construct a triangle with these particular uh, lengths. And why is that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. It's very simply because of what we call the triangle inequality. Okay, and this is uh, a very um, important uh, concept to understand about triangles. It's not that difficult. And there's a couple of different um, takes on the triangle inequalities. We're only going to take a look at one here. If you want to know more about triangles and triangle inequalities and more kind of advanced uh, geometry, uh, I'm going to suggest that you check out like my full geometry course. I'll leave a link to that also in the description. But if you got this right, if you said, Oh yeah, this is uh, because of the triangle inequality. You cannot form a triangle with those respective lengths, and that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face and A plus A 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in triangles. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this now. If you didn't get this, if you didn't, you know, if you haven't never heard of the triangle inequality, well, this is not that difficult to understand, and it's very. Uh, uh, what I like to think of as pretty cool, okay? You'll see why here in a second. So let's take a look at an actual real triangle. Now, this particular triangle that I'm gonna look at is um, a right triangle. Now, this concept uh, can apply to uh, right triangles, non-right triangles, but let's just take this triangle. So it just happens to be a right triangle, but uh, we can form a actual real right triangle with lengths three, four, five. And if you wanted to kind of verify that, you can use a Pythagorean uh, theorem, but this is what we call a Pythagorean uh, triple, okay? So three, four, five, this is in fact a real, real uh, triangle. Now let's take a look at the properties uh, that I'm kind of want you to kind of hone in here, okay? And this is one way you can kind of um, verify that if you have uh, a triangle and you have the lengths of a particular triangle, and someone says, could you form a, a triangle with these particular lengths? This is the way you would verify, okay? This is uh, basically the triangle inequality in action. So basically what the triangle inequality states is that the sum of any two sides of uh, a triangle, okay, will always be greater than the third side. So let's take a look at what this uh, means here. So let's add five plus four. So five uh, plus four, which of course is nine, that's greater than the third side, which is three. No big deal there. Let's take another combination here. So we got five and three. So is five plus three, is that greater than four? Yep, that makes sense, because five plus three is eight, that's greater than four. And then let's go ahead and uh, do four and three. Is this uh, greater than five? Well, four plus three is seven. That's greater than five. So if you um, have a real triangle, this you'll always be able to uh, have uh, these properties in place. Okay, this is basically an illustration of the triangle inequality. So one way you can kind of think about this before I show you our actual problem is let's suppose you had three sticks, right? Three straight, um, you know, little uh, lines like this. One is three 
and another is four and another down here is five and you're asked to construct a triangle with these lengths right let me kind of erase this here for a second uh, so you know you could kind of put this together you could put the three right here the four right there and then the five would fit perfectly from corner to corner but just because you have three lengths that doesn't mean that you can always construct uh, an actual triangle right so here i could have one uh, straight line that's really long and then here i could have another one that's kind of medium and then if i only have a little short uh, length right there let's just make something up let's call this two let's call this five and let's call this like 12. well you can see this two will never uh, be long enough to kind of you know, that's terrible a little kind of illustration but it's, it'll never be long enough to close this triangle out and even if it went down like this you would have some weird figure like this so the lengths of um, the sides of a triangle have to follow the triangle inequality and this is how you can determine whether in fact um, you are uh, dealing with an actual triangle so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual triangle in question and this is how we can kind of prove or disprove whether in fact you can form a triangle with sides 3 6 and 10. so let's go ahead and uh, just kind of check each side so 10 plus 3 is 10 plus 3 greater than 6 well yes it is right so 10 plus 3 is 13 that's greater than 6 so that checks out let's do 10 and 6 okay is that greater than 3 10 plus 6 16 that isn't greater than 3 as well everything looks pretty good all uh, all the way up to the point where we go 6 and 3 is 6 and 3 is that greater than 10 well this is 9 this is not greater than 10 so this fails right here okay meaning that you cannot construct uh, a triangle of these dimensions of these lengths all right so this uh, triangle inequality this does pop up from time to time on test especially things like the sat or act or just you know it's just basic good geometry to know so hopefully you know um, you learned something here right? if you already knew that that's awesome as well again if you are working on geometry there's all these little theorems postulates properties that you don't use too frequently but you know you do kind of need to know them so again you know whether it's using my geometry course or another program or other material if you are studying geometry make sure you get all those kind of um concepts down because uh, in high school level geometry okay if you happen to be in high school you only kind of get geometry one time more or less okay after geometry comes algebra 2 then pre-calculus and calculus so what you learn in geometry it's really important okay and you will kind of need to remember a lot of those concepts going forward and again you are only typically really focused dedicated you know one year uh, span in terms of a geometry course and that's you know a very unique course so really get into it and learn as much as possible okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day